You know, it happens often. You try things and you don't immediately like the results. And some other times I like the process. I like the results right after. But then a few months later, I look at the files, I look at the images and I end up not liking them at all. This happens often to me. I try things and don't immediately like the ending results. And some other times I enjoy the process and I like the images that I produced, but then months later I look back at them and I'm like, what was I thinking? You can see some of these on my blog, on my YouTube channel, if you dig just a little bit. You don't have to go that far, you know, just a year back and you'll find some of the images that, you know, I kind of have a hard time to look at. They are no longer in my portfolio, but they are still accessible. I like the idea that you can, I can still look at my old work and see how much my work has evolved through time. is not new to my work she is an ex gymnast and this gives me the opportunity to test different things different angles different perspectives different shapes and forms we also worked in a familiar location but this time we had a tiny little room and we had to compose with that the weather wasn't great so we missed the best time of the day you know that time where the light comes in from the only big window of the room. So yeah, we had to fake it. I put my brown color lights on the balcony towards the inside of the room to fake the sun. I didn't really guide her during this session. We tried a lot of things. I just gave her a few basic information, the way I wanted to compose and frame my shots, and of course, a few of the shapes and forms that I had in my mind. but same composition. And of course we took advantage of her flexibility because because why not?
even brought my brown color edge mask, something that I barely use. Last time I used it was during a portrait session. I think it was a year and a half ago. So I thought, yeah, let's bring it along and try a few things. It might work. <laughs> this look with two lights and a black backdrop but the advantage of the edge mask is that you can achieve the same results with only one light. Mine is a bit small but thankfully Maeva has a small body so she fits perfectly inside the box. There's a bigger version of the edge mask but since I barely use it I never considered upgrading. Overall I'm kind of satisfied. I like some of the shots that we made that day I don't know if I'm going to pursue this mix of genres and styles. I don't know. Here are some before and after images so that you guys can see basically how much is done to some of the images. So that's it folks, don't forget to tell YouTube how much you loved this video. Press that little bell button if you don't want to miss my future posts. I know I'm going to see you boys and girls in my next video. So until then, please have a good one.